We're in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to edit a device, a storage device, uh, in case you want to make any changes or look at some of the information. So go to the Storage tab and double click on the device you want to edit. From here, you're going to see the device name. We could change that to something new if we want. We'll just call it Storage 2. And we can uh, see if it's online or offline. We can say, should it be read-only? We can pre-allocate disk space if we want. We can also create a maximum file size. By default, it's set to 50 gigabytes, but you can certainly change it if you want. You can also set up low disk warnings for uh, critical and warning for uh, when you're running out of hard drive space. You can set a reserve amount. By default, it's 10 megabytes. I find this to be a little light, so I tend to change that to one gigabyte. If it goes down too low, it makes it very slow to try to access the drive. Shows our total capacity and other information about that. Also shows our path to our data file, connection type, whether it's local or on the network. And if a service start is, re is needed to in order to get that to work. Auto detect settings is enabled. And the concurrent write sessions, that's how many backup jobs you can do at one time. So you may want to change that from five or two or, two or whatever it is to a different number based on uh, whether or not your drive is capable of handling multiple jobs at once. And when you're all done making whatever changes you made, just go ahead and click apply.